Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. A crypto wallet contains a private key that allows you to exchange crypto over the internet. This private key serves as your digital identity in the market. Anyone who obtains it can carry out fraudulent transactions or steal your crypto. Cyber criminals employ complex approaches to hack digital wallets and steal or transfer crypto assets without the user's awareness. Also, several accounts have surfaced of people losing access to their crypto after forgetting their wallet passwords. And while resetting a password on the internet is usually a simple process, cryptocurrency is somewhat unique. If you have it stashed away on a hard drive, keep the password safe at all costs. Because if you don't, then there's a good chance that you won't be able to get those coins back. So it's vital to secure your wallet to protect your digital assets. In today's video, we're going to look at how you can keep your crypto safe. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know if you find it interesting by saying so in the comments section down below. Now let's jump into it. So what is a crypto wallet? A crypto wallet is a software application that stores your public and private keys, allows you to transfer and receive digital currencies, keep track of your balance, and connect with different blockchains. To handle and secure your crypto holdings, you'll need a crypto wallet. There are many different types of crypto wallets, but the most crucial factor is whether they're a hot or a cold wallet. A hot wallet being an online wallet that can be accessed at any time, and a cold wallet is a wallet that's not connected to the internet and allows you to store your crypto without using the internet and you'll still be able to receive payments at any given time. Hot wallets are convenient for frequent trading, but cold wallets are ideal for long-term crypto asset storage. Now let's have a look at the different types of crypto wallets, starting with paper wallets. Cold storage is the standard classification for paper wallets. An actual physical copy or paper print of your public and private keys is referred to as a paper wallet. It can also refer to software that generates a pair of keys and a digital file for printing. In any event, paper wallets can provide you with an excellent level of security. To move your funds, you can either import your paper wallet into software client or scan its QR code. My Ether wallet is a one-stop place for creating a paper wallet for Ethereum and other ERC20 currencies. To create a paper wallet for Bitcoin, you can use Bitcoin Paper Wallet Generator. Paper wallets are cold, but they come with their own set of concerns. For example, paper wallets are readily damaged, burned, copied, and photographed, and require confidence if you aren't producing one yourself. Also, people laminate paper wallets and print many copies and keep them in separate locations, engrave them on metal or other sturdy materials, and so on, just to make them less fragile. Keep in mind that keeping electronic copies of your paper wallet on your computer is a poor idea. The paper wallet's private key should always be stored offline. Cloud wallets. By definition, online wallets are hot wallets. Your funds can be accessed via a cloud wallet from any computer, device, or location. They're incredibly convenient, but they keep your private keys online and therefore that makes them more vulnerable to third-party control. As a result, they're by design more prone to cyber attacks. Some of the most popular cloud wallets include Garda, Metamask, and Coinbase. Non-custodial online wallets are a safer variant of cloud wallets. They're accessible through the web and apps, but the service provider doesn't access your personal information. In most cases, exchange platforms have non-custodial wallets, and this allows you to trade your cryptocurrency safely and securely. Some examples of non-custodial wallets include Crypto.com DeFi Wallet, BitWalla, and Local Cryptos. Software Wallets Software wallets are installed on a smartphone or a desktop. Both desktop and mobile variants provide a high level of protection, but they can't protect against malware. Mobile wallets are typically smaller than desktop wallets, but both can be used to manage your assets. Also, some software wallets allow you to access your funds from several devices simultaneously, such as smartphones, laptops, and even hardware wallets. And some examples include Jax, Free Wallet, Infino Wallet, and Electrum Wallet. Hardware wallets. Hardware wallets, unlike software wallets, keep your private keys on an external device like a USB drive. They're also capable of making online payments, and also hardware wallets can accept different currencies that are compatible with web interfaces. They're designed to make transactions straightforward. 
All you have to do is plug it into any online device, unlock your wallet, send money, and confirm the transaction. Hardware wallets are said to be the safest way to store your cryptocurrency. The only downside is that they're not available for free. The most popular hardware wallets are those made by Ledger, KeepKey, and Trezor. Now let's look at some security practices that you should follow. First of all, enable the two-factor authentication option. Choose a PIN that's difficult to guess, and if you're using a hardware wallet, never post your 24-word recovery sheet online. Don't discuss your crypto holdings in public using your real name or an address that can be traced back to you. Trust what you see on your hardware wallet and double check everything else on the device. And always consider your gadgets could be hacked at any time, so use caution when using your computer or smartphone. Now let's have a look at some additional security tips to protect your online assets. Be wary of phishing sites. Double check that you're connecting to the correct address. Whether it's an exchange or an online wallet, many fake websites are pretending to be crypto exchanges to steal your login information. Always double check the webpage address and make sure it's correct. Make sure websites have a valid HTTPS certificate. Only log into websites that have a valid HTTPS certificate. The majority of legitimate websites have one, and you can even use browser extensions like HTTPS Everywhere for added security. Use a secure Wi-Fi connection. Never use public Wi-Fi to access your online wallet, exchange account, or other sensitive information. Make sure your Wi-Fi access point employs strong encryption such as the WPA2 protocol, even if you're in a supposedly safe location. Whitelist IP and withdrawal addresses. Use a static IP address if available. Ensure that only you have access to your money and accounts. Check crypto addresses. Some malicious apps can edit and paste a false transaction address when you send a transaction. The fake address is usually associated with an attacker. So there we have it. We've looked at what you need to know to keep your crypto safe from the different types of wallets available and best practices to follow. I'd also just like to note that this video is simply to gain knowledge on keeping your crypto safe. Please do your own research and select the best method as per your requirement. Once again, if you found this video interesting or helpful, don't forget to let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.